Let's see the question students. Which of the following is not correctly matched according to VSCPR theory? Students in this question we are given with the molecules or ions on the left hand side and geometries on the right hand side. And we have to analyze that which is an incorrect match. Let's start with the very first option students which is ICL2 minus. In this case iodine is surrounded with 3 lone pair and 2 chlorine atoms. So we can clearly see the geometry is linear. Let's move to the next option students which is XeOF2. In this case xenon is surrounded with two fluorine atoms and one oxygen atom. Also has two lone pairs. So we can say that the geometry is bent T shape. Let's move to the next option students which is SF6. In this case sulfur is surrounded with 6 fluorine atoms. That means the geometry is octahedral. Let's move to the last option students which is SF4. In this case sulfur is surrounded with 4 fluorine atoms and 1 lone pair. So the geometry of the molecule is seesaw. So we can clearly see number 1 is a correct match, number 2 is also a correct match, number 3 is again a correct match but number 4 which is SF4 is an incorrect match. Since the geometry of SF4 is seesaw but here it is written as tetrahedral. So the correct answer for this question is number 4. Let's move to the next question students which is 67. Let's read the question students. Maximum polarizability is shown by the options are N 3 minus O 2 minus C 4 minus or F minus. Students as we all know that with increase of charge on an ion the polarizability increases. So we can analyze the order of polarizability. C4 minus has a maximum polarizability followed by N. 3 minus followed by O2 minus and least polarizability is observed by F minus. So we can say that maximum polarizability is shown by C4 minus that means the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question students which is 68. Molecule having all equal bond lengths is the given options are NH3, H2O2, PCL5 or CLF3. Let's proceed the question students. Let's start with the very first option students which is NH3. In this case nitrogen has one lone pair and three bond pair. The geometry is trigonal pyramidal and we can say that all the NH bond lengths are equal. Let's move to the next option students which is H2O2. Students in this case the OO bond length is longer than OH bond length. So we can say that in H2O2 all the bond lengths are not equal. Let's move to the next option which is PCL5. Let's draw the structure. Students, the shape of PCL5 is a trigonal bipyramidal. In this case, there are two types of bonds. These are equatorial bonds. Three bonds are equatorial bonds. And the two bonds are axial bonds. And as we know that axial bonds are longer than equatorial bonds. 
so we can say that all the bond lengths in pcl5 are not equal let's move to the next option students which is clf3 in this case chlorine is attached with three fluorine atoms and two lone pairs in this case students one fluorine is attached at the equatorial position and these two fluorines are attached at the axial position and as we have already discussed that axial bond lengths are longer than equatorial bond lengths therefore we can say that in clf3 also all the bond lengths are not equal so the only option in which all the bond lengths are equal is nh3 so the correct option for this question is number 1 Let's move to the next question students which is 69 which among the following is our paramagnetic species with bond order 2.5 the given options are n2 plus n2 minus n2 and the last option is both 1 and 2 that means both n2 plus and n2 minus so students first of all we have to write the molecular orbital configuration of the given species that is n2 plus n2 minus and n2 i am starting with the molecular orbital configuration of n2 n2 has 14 electrons so the configuration will be sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 then sigma star 2s2 then we have pi 2p x2 then pi 2p y2 then we have sigma 2p z2 now we can calculate the bond order of n2 that will be half of 10 minus 4 which is 6 divided by 2 that means 3 so students we have seen that the bond order of n2 is 3 and it is diamagnetic since n2 has no unpaired electrons student let's see what happens in n2 plus and n2 minus in n2 plus one electron is being removed from the sigma 2pz orbital therefore the bond order becomes 2.5 since the number of bonding electron decreases from 10 to 9 and also we can say that the species become paramagnetic in nature because of the presence of one unpaired electron in sigma 2pz orbital let's move to the next option which is n2 minus in this case one electron is being added to the pi star orbital either pi star 2px or pi star 2py and because of which the anti bonding electron increases from 4 to 5 as a result the bond order becomes 2.5 also because of the unpaired electron present in the pi star orbital n2 minus will also become paramagnetic so students it is very clear that the species which are paramagnetic in nature and which have bond order 2.5 are n2 plus and n2 minus so the correct answer is number 4 let's move to the next question students which is 70 let's see the question molecule which involves intramolecular hydrogen bonding is ortho nitrophenol nh3 hf or h2o students first of all we need to understand the meaning of intramolecular hydrogen bonding when hydrogen bonding exists between the hydrogen and an electronegative atom within the same molecule we term it as intramolecular hydrogen bonding so it is very clear that only ortho nitrophenol involves intramolecular hydrogen bonding let's see the structure students this is benzene now this is phenol and no2 at the ortho position so hydrogen bonding exists between oxygen of no2 group and hydrogen of phenol so the correct answer for this question is number 1 let's move to the next question students which is 